Here we have the 2004 Kawasaki KVF 360, also known as the Prairie 360. This is for sale, four wheel drive model. As you can see, it's in excellent condition. This is gonna be a cold start video. And later on in this video, you're going to see a little bit of a ride compilation to prove that there's absolutely not a thing wrong with this bike. Um, I bought it for my girlfriend. We are no longer together. Uh, I bought it last summer. This is a cold start video. This is the head pipe for the exhaust. My hand is right on it. It's ice cold. Here's some snow. It's not melting. I rebuilt the front differential last fall. Bearings, seals, new clutch plates for the progressively locking front differential comes with the Champion 2500 pound winch that is operational, it shows that in the video. Tires, front and rear, are just like new. They don't lose air. It's got a brand new belt on it and new front brakes. The rear brakes are operated by a oil bathed rear brake system multi-disc and that is built into the rear differential there's nothing that hangs down for the rear brakes so here it is it's a cold start very low kilometers 504 hours 1477 kilometers that's it so, choke on, start, very quiet, it's got new hand grips, although the little ends are, are um, a little bit ripped, that's because of the glue I used on them, it actually ate away a little bit of the rubber, but they're not going to slip on you, you can't move them. Very good shape, very quiet, very easy to run, lightweight four-wheel drive. You can get a plow kit for it. So you can see the snow hasn't melted from the, uh, the video you're going to be seeing, which is the little ride compilation video. There's no cracks in the fenders. So here you go. That's your cold start. I'm just going to let it warm up here for a minute. Idle's fine. This is to prove that this bike will start for you in any weather. As you can see, we just had that great big snowstorm here in Nova Scotia. We got about a foot and a half here. And it is cold. It's probably around minus six right now. So this bike sat overnight all night. Starts out fine. Idle's fine. It's a little bit slow right now because it's still warming up. As you can see, there's no smoke, just steam. Thanks a lot, guys. So before I get this all cleaned up and ready for sale, uh, I figured I'd take it for a little drive with you guys to uh, prove to you there's nothing wrong with the bike. It's great, great condition. So this is the 2004 Kawasaki KVF Prairie 360 I have for sale. Uh, right now it's a little bit dirty, so... I'll make another video here, but as you can see, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I just let it warm up inside the grass here for, you know, five minutes. You can barely hear the thing run. You can see there's no oil or smoke or anything coming out. A little bit of steam, but that's about it. So, we'll take it for a little run here and uh, I'll show you. Everything works fine. So right now we're in four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive on the switch. Four wheel drive light is on, no check belt, in neutral. So, put her in high and we'll go for a little spin. We've got some fresh snow here, probably about uh, 30 centimeters coming today. So now, you can see the speedometer works fine.
gear is fine. Four wheel drive's working fine. The diff lock here, that works fine. You can feel that engaging. It doesn't want to doesn't want to drive straight, just wants to pull forward, let it go. Back to normal steering. That was high mode. Go to low. Low works fine. No sounds or anything like that coming from the front diff. You hear a little bit of a squeak right here. That's just because it's got a brand new belt on it. You uh, take it out of gear and that goes away. And uh, talking to a representative from Kawasaki, they said that sound will go away probably within the next uh, 100 to 150 kilometers as the belt wears in. Go to reverse. Reverse light comes on. Reverse looks fine. The override works. If I, if I pin it, it won't go any faster until you hit that override button, which is right here. Now you got full power in reverse. Everything works. Wench, 2,500 pound wench. Sorry, 1,500. No, it's 25. Forgot. Free spool, works fine. Engage, both ways. The 12 volt plug works. Here, headlights, low, high, tail light. And the brake light, you can kind of see light up right here. Everything works fine on this bike. Nice and quiet. Throttle's right there. So you can climb this hill fine. Didn't need diff lock or anything. So I'll get this cleaned up and make a nice little video for you. Thanks for watching. Oh, park brake? Works fine, I'm not rolling down the hill.